worked 28 years of my life for nothing. Because somebody else doesn't know how to do their job. Dean Blanchard is the owner and operator of a shrimp processing and distribution company located in Grand Isle, Louisiana. Like many others, his business has been ruined by the oil spill that has contaminated the Gulf of Mexico and has largely put an end to shrimping and fishing in the region. We would probably be at about 90 employees right now, maybe 100, you know. We was expecting a big, big year. Whenever you have a cold winter, you have a big shrimp season. Well, on our second boat today, if it'd be normal, we'd be on about, this time of the day, probably on 75, we'd have unloaded by now. You wouldn't believe it if you'd be here when we're really working. You know, you wouldn't be able to stand right there. They'd run you over. There'd be six forklifts running around, three bobcats running. I mean, there'd be 25 tractor trailers out there. We'd be loading every hour and a half. We'd be loading one. I mean, it'd be a madhouse. We didn't make one good day this year. You know, what I unloaded so far this month, I could have unloaded in one day last year. I'm going to Costa Rica next week for another place to live, you know. I think we finished. You know, no doubt in my mom. Oh, First time I see him come in like crawfish. Yeah, they like crawfish sacks. Huh? They think that we could take a couple of four, five years off or whatever we're going to take and we just come back and everything's going to be back to normal, you know. A guy like Tiger Woods takes six months off of golf and he can't win no more. I went to BP, I told him from the beginning. I said, y'all got a tool available to y'all, y'all have no idea how to use, and that's the fishing. I got both been working for 60 days and I've not caught one drop of oil yet. 60 days they've been out there. I mean, some boats that if you'd be paying them on the oil they'd bring back, they'd be bringing back boatloads of oil, but the, the, the oil spill response people that's in charge, that's been contracted by BP, are directing the shrimpers. The shrimpers got a passion to clean the inside. The oil spill response people want more oil. The longer the oil stays, the longer they get paid. Now they're in charge. They got the fox guarding the hen house and we keep losing hens every night. Nobody's looking at the fox. They paid off and gave gifts to the people that were supposed to be regulating them. They gave money and gifts to the politicians and they was allowed, they was allowed to, to, to drill with nobody watching them. If you look at what they made last quarter, they made $6 billion. $75 million they make every day in a quarter. So if they tell you, look, you, if you get caught drunk driving, the only thing we'll do for you is take your license for a day and a quarter. Everybody would drink and drive, right? Yeah, you allow an ex-politicians to become lobbyists. They know how to. They know the game already. They know how to bend the rules. You know, they, it's unfair. They they, uh, they they take all your money. They 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 stay in there for five terms, and then they got a license to steal. Yeah, all, most of them go to work for the same people they were supposed to be regulating. Look at what happened to the Roman Empire. Read your history book. When it's more important, that when the senators and all got more things than the regular people got, you're gonna have problems. You're always gonna have more poor. You know the the, the country the country's gonna revolt. Well, if there was drug dealers, they would have seized their assets. Yeah, you know, I don't believe they know better than common drug dealers. You know, drug dealers destroy lives. They destroyed lives. What's the difference? If I'd be the president, I'd tell you what I'd do. I'd go find all them guys at Goldman Sachs and all the ones that ruined the country, and I'd bring them in and tell them, you either fix what y'all broke or y'all going to jail for the rest of your life. That guy just destroyed the whole Gulf of Mexico, and he's at the yacht races. If me or you would have done that, we'd be in the St. Quentin prison. It's a cry and shame when somebody's a CEO of a company that, that goes bankrupt and we give them a bonus. There's definitely something wrong with that. And the only reason that's allowed to happen is that the big companies will give money to the politicians. You gotta fight for freedom. And we, 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 we've lost the will to fight in this country. You know, we, 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 everybody knows what the politicians are doing and we just sit back and watch them. You know, think, <laughs> we gotta change it.